Hello, beautiful souls, beautiful awakened star seeds, light workers. Welcome back to another video on Star Seed Academy. My name is Jenny. So today is Sunday, December 19th. Um, and for today's video, I really just wanted to leave it open to what wanted to come through. Normally, when I do that, I have some kind of an idea of what wants to come through, like a theme or an impression or a feeling. And I just don't know. I just don't have anything. But I just, you know, when you just feel called to just be an open channel. So what I'm going to do is connect and see what wants to come through for, you know, the, the awakening, the starseed collective, which is awakening souls, lightworkers, starseeds, people that are re remembering who they really are and here on their earth mission. And starting to really tune into that and align to that timeline. Okay, so before we get started, and, and I want to take you on this journey with me, so we'll set the space together. Before we get started, I just want to quickly wish my boyfriend a very happy birthday today. I love you so much, and I hope you have an awesome day. Um, okay. So let's get started here by all of us connecting together. So there are so many people in this community that as you come across this message, I really want to make you a part of this energy. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you watch this on December 19th, which is the date that I just said it. Whenever you come across this video is when you're meant to hear this guidance that's coming through for you. So please Tune in with me by placing your hands over your heart. And I'm going to ask you to take three deep breaths. And during that time, I want you to feel the connection with me. And then I want you to expand your awareness to feel the connection with all of the different awakening souls around the planet. And maybe like me, you'll visualize them like little lights all around a planet. So take those three deep breaths now. Okay, so now let's create a sacred space to channel in. So I'm going to call in Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Hanya, and ask them to clear our energy. So this is for me and everyone on the other end of this message watching. Clear our energy. Clear the energy within the soul, the spirit, the energy body, the human, the aura, all that we are. Clear it with white light and golden light so that everything that is not for our highest good leaves and is washed away. And then create a safe and sacred container for us to receive these messages in. And as I ask the angels to do that, I often will see them weaving golden light around me like a cocoon. Next, I'm going to connect to source. So to do that, I take the crown chakra, the white light at the top of my head. And I visualize that along with yours now spiraling upwards. Visualize that crown chakra spiraling upwards. And it goes up through the ceiling of the room that you're in, through the roof, out into the sky, past the clouds, all the way to the edge of Earth's atmosphere, where we then go shooting through that planetary grid and we're out into outer space. And visualize the stars and the planets whizzing by as we head to the very edge of the universe, where the doorway to source, God's source, exists. And it's a beautiful golden door with light shining through. Open that door now. I visualize it as an arched doorway. And I reach down and turn the handle and push that door inwards. And as I do, all of this light flows out enveloping me so step through the doorway into the light and as we step into that light of god and source i ask god source please anchor us into your heart into 
unconditional love frequency, the highest frequency. And you can just feel your frequency rising up. Anchor us into divine truth so that all that comes through in this message is divinely timed and of the light and true and detailed and exactly what we need to hear right now. And then at the other end of your energy, at your root chakra, the red light at the base of your spine, visualize that now spiraling downwards, going through the floor, through the grass and the dirt and the rocks and the layers of the earth, all the way down to the center of the earth where there is a hollow core. And in that center, Gaia's soul exists. And I visualize this as a crystal heart and it spins and within that crystal heart is the soul of Gaia. And we ask Gaia, please anchor us into your heart. Hold us in a grounded, protective space as we open up and receive and channel. Thank you. Perfect. So we've got the space set now, ready to bring through some divine messages. So. I want to start by connecting just purely to source to see what comes through. And then if we want to connect to another source, like another council, the Galactic Federation, perhaps, or a council of light, we'll feel drawn to do that. We'll feel called to do so. But at this point, I just want to get the first message feels like it wants to come right from source. So that's what I'm going to tune into now. And I'm just going to grab my crystals which I normally have set out beforehand. So if you have any crystals nearby that you want to grab and you feel that they help you to gain clarity, please go ahead and grab them now. So the first message that's coming through is, I heard the word maturation of souls, like our souls are maturing. And I'm seeing how a soul can come to earth feeling quite young um, and within one lifetime, just one lifetime on earth can receive so much wisdom. And for me, wisdom is knowledge plus experience. It's like a math equation. Knowledge plus experience equals wisdom because knowledge alone is not enough. You need the experience. You need to truly live it out to understand, to gain the wisdom of it. And that's what we're doing here. So, so many of us high vibrational souls have all kinds of knowledge within us. Like even now, you hold so much knowledge within you. And you came here knowing how the universe works, knowing, I mean, all I mean, also open to your own Akashic record. So all of your past lives and all of the things that you've learned in every life and all of the gifts and the talents that you've gained along the way. And yet you still chose to endure the veil of forgetfulness, like across your eyes, across like symbolically across the eyes of your memories of all of that universal knowledge and personal knowledge to come here to gain the wisdom, the experience that you're going through right now as a human being is the missing puzzle piece for you to gain that wisdom. And so what came through was the maturation that we are going we are maturing as souls. And I see that as a soul matures, we have access to more and more of that divine wisdom. Like if I mean if you want to picture it in your brain, which I mean that can be a symbol, like the more mature and the more lessons you overcome with love the more little doorways in your mind open up unlock and open up 
to reveal to you the knowledge of, of the universe and also personally the knowledge of my past lives. So, and that has truly helped me so much. Like the more that I remember past lives and heal through them if they were traumatic, the more I feel returned to myself. The more pieces, it's soul retrieval, the more pieces of myself I gather up and I feel more whole and complete. And that's a gift. So, you know, truly like doing the work, doing the, I mean, we've all been doing the work. Um, and the work is, of course, shadow work, right? It's the it's the healing of your emotional emotions, emotional body, the healing of your energetic body. It's a lot of healing and forgiveness is, is the basis of shadow work, forgiving everyone involved in whatever hurt you and including yourself and then moving forward. So all of this is coming through for a reason. Um, if you've been feeling like your shadow work is never ending, if you only knew how much it was stacking upon itself, the experience, these keys, this wisdom. Oh, I got chills when I said keys and wisdom. You are, you are unlocking your wisdom. So don't um, give up. Don't lie back. Don't like the feeling that I'm getting is just like, okay, well, I'm just going to let this go. I'm not going to really dig into this. I'm not going to do the work. Don't do that. If you can stay really passionate about the shadow work and really dive deeply into it, then you will continue to unlock more and more and more. And I think that you see it. I mean, I believe that you see it happening. Just as I can look back on myself only one year ago and be blown away by how much it seems like every year gets more intense too, because in the last year alone, last two years, I've grown maybe what it took me the five years before that, like the growth is exponentially increasing. It's going so much faster. So, I mean, okay, let's just see what else wants to come through from source on this. So I'm hearing maturation of souls, like a divine fine harvest. And I'm seeing grapes on a vine as we come into our prime, as we come into the prime time of our lives. And then I'm hearing that prime period is upon you now. This is where the pendulum meets the center. Because pendulums swing wildly from highs to lows as we go through all of this stuff and it's like eventually it slows down and you hit your stride and that's balance like that's balancing the light and the dark within you balancing and accepting and surrendering to all the things that you find within yourself As the harvest begins, it includes in the bounty that you receive all that you are, all of your soul gifts, all of your soul memories, the fullness of self. Returning to yourself is the most powerful divine gift of all. And then I'm seeing a vision of all of these awakened souls around the earth, just like me. And you just like, I don't know if you feel this way too, but you just like see it in their eyes. Like you see the maturity, you see the wisdom, you see the old soul in there. It, it's so beautiful. It's so powerful. People are experiencing so much expansion and growth. And everything that's happening in the world around us is the catalyst for that. So 
that's the higher perspective. Like when you, if there's somebody out there that's also feeling like, why is all of this badness happening in the world? That's a, that's a perspective that you have. It's not badness. It's not, it's creating the environment, the energetic environment or atmosphere to awaken souls to their highest degree. And I mean, because this is a world of polarity, the universe, but you know, earth is a world of polarity. When darkness or heaviness or negativity or the fear or everything, illness that's going on in the world, when it hits hard, we respond, our souls respond by increasing our light. Because however much darkness arrives in this world, we will be the light to match it. We came here to bring balance back. And I'm seeing now, I'm getting so many chills as I'm saying this, and I'm seeing now that that light is coming from within us. And maybe we've always thought that we were just going to bring down the light from heaven and share it here on earth. What if the light was your own soul? What if you were that light, the source, and it was inside of you to give that? And the more like that the darkness spread, the more you feel your own light grow and expand and grow and expand. The more brave you get, the more courageous you get, the more you step onto your path, the more you do the thing. Like my favorite thing to talk about, like people's earth missions, like do the thing that you've been called here to do. And if you're not sure what that is, sign up for a breakthrough reading with me because we will get you on your path so quickly. Um, I just see so many beautiful timelines and I've seen this vision before. I don't remember what video I talked to you guys about this, but I know it was here on YouTube. So many beautiful timelines shooting up out of the darkness. So like the 3D chaos and all of these lights shooting up out of it, their timelines where we're, we're rising up to live in a new, I mean, it's your highest timeline. You're living in a divine way. Even in a dark world, you can live your highest timeline. You can be your highest light. You can call back to your soul, all of your gifts and your power. It's such an amazing thing to do soul retrieval. Um, and again, if you're if you're looking for this kind of stuff, sign up to work with me because these are all things that I offer because I personally have been through them and I know how powerful they are in soul retrieval. There's nothing, I don't know if there's anything more powerful than calling back a piece of yourself and integrating it back with the whole and then feeling so much more than you were before that. So much more like yourself, so much like your gifts, your memories, your wisdom. It's like adding to yourself, adding to your light. Maybe that's how our light continues to increase. Like we were saying, as the darkness increases, then the light increases to match it. I mean, that's how we do it. That's how we increase our light. We do the soul work. We do the retrievals. We do the shadow work. We heal across time. It's not just this lifetime we're healing anymore. Many of us have already done that. We've healed this life. We've healed our childhood. We've moved through multiple past lives. And we're just, it just continues to spread the healing and the light. It touches all of our parallel selves across time and space and brings all of that back into our hearts with connection, powerful connections. So, I mean, so, so basically the message here from source to be that everything that you're doing inside is creating the balance on the outside, the balance and the light that you bring inside of yourself with your own light versus dark, you create in the world around you. And that there is nothing to fear because no matter how much darkness gets like portaled in to this dimension, like, you know, all the tricks that they try, we'll just wake up more people. There are so many sleepers, sleeper souls powerful souls here on earth and we could just awaken them one flame in your heart awakens the next and the next and the next and eventually i mean a golden era is when like 
pretty much the whole world is in an awakened state. And that's a golden era of evolution and expansion in all ways, spiritually, technologically, health-wise, community. We just expand and expand and expand. You know, maybe we haven't always gotten it right, like, you know, the things that have gone wrong in Atlantis, but Earth will, because she's a cyclical being, will always give us another chance. We're running on a cycle of 24,000 years. It's called the procession cycle. And it's 12,000 years of descension followed by 12,000 years of ascension. And we're coming up to another golden era. It feels soon, you know, like, I don't know. It feels soon. Like, there's no way to really know with so many shifts happening with timelines, but it does. It feels soon. And that's, I mean, it's so exciting. So if you could then look at the world, every time you see darkness, know that a light will will either turn on within someone who's already awakened. They will grow their light even bigger. Maybe it's you. Somebody will respond to that added darkness in the world by being, creating, expanding more light. Or somebody will awaken. So all of the darkness that we see, all of the corruption, all of the greed, all of the fear, all of the agendas, all of the control, as you see it spreading down here in the lowest parts of 3D, like muck, know that up here in the fifth dimensional realm, which now exists on Earth, Earth is 3D, 4D, and 5D. In the fifth dimensional realm of Earth, the light is spreading to match it. And we are... And like source has shown me this, that we are right on track. Like there's nothing to fear. So let's change our perspectives. When we see darkness hitting hard and growing as it, it does, um, instead get excited. Wow. There's so much light on the way right now within me, within my neighbor, within everyone. There's so much light on the way to earth and, and you can bring it through. Use it as um, motivation. So that's super exciting. Okay. I just want to finish up, um, cause I have a client in seven minutes, so I can't make this any longer, but I just want to finish up by letting you know about an event that's coming up, a free event. Um, I'm going to do a live on Instagram for December 21st on Tuesday for the, um, winter solstice and it's also the starting of Capricorn season. So it's the shortest day of the year, the longest night of the year, the most darkness. Wow, that really goes hand in hand with this video right now. So I'm going to create the most light that I can on that day. So please join me in spreading your light and, and, and gathering the light together by connecting with each other, um, by joining in. Um, I'm trying to think what time I'm going to be doing that on Tuesday, December 21st. I think I'm probably going to do that at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but I will make an announcement on Instagram. So make sure you're following me over there because that's where I'm going to go live. And the kinds of things that we're going to be doing quickly before I go. So a free live event on Tuesday, December 21st at 5 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be clearing karmic debt, closing old lessons, closing energy leaks, calling our power back to ourself, upgrading the physical cellular structure and downloading CCC. And that stands for Christ Consciousness Codes into our system. So that's the frequency of unconditional love. And to help us with that, we're going to be working with ascended masters and angelic beings. So those two realms, the ascended and the angelic. And then we're going to, at the end, do a channeling from the Galactic Federation of Light for some galactic updates for the new year, probably. Well, I don't know what'll come through, but that's what I think might come through. So we'll see though. Okay. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for, um, just, just being here on earth in general. I really hope that I see you on Tuesday, December 21st. Let me know in the comments of this video, if you'll be there 5 PM Eastern, get, make sure you're following me on Instagram and I'll be going live over there. I love you all so much. Please remember, listen to your heart and the quiet voice within, because you are so much more than the body you are in. Have a beautiful day. Bye.